Mr. Otto for joining us. It's such an honor to have you at this uh, year's convention. Uh, how has been the convention so far this morning? Uh, thank you, Tao. Yeah, very interesting. In fact, I'll start by saying that it's probably the biggest convention we've ever had since the formation of the ASZ. Mm -hmm. And the, the color of the attendance by origin, destination, is really amazing. I'm, I'm thoroughly impressed. Yeah, I think it's, uh, it, it means a lot. I think, uh, especially coming from you, you, you do realize that you are the godfather of the profession. Huh? Yeah, sometimes I, I feel that, but I think it's, it's been a long time. <laughs> I might be the grandfather of the profession, but there are a lot of fathers too now <laughs> that have come along along the way. Yeah, that's very much true. Uh, and maybe from what has been covered so far, maybe what would be your key takeaways? Look, I think uh, I can start with the most recent presentation, recent, yes. which was of interest to me, mm. intriguing, because it was a, a, a contrarian view to reality. Mm -hmm. And I did comment that uh, in mathematics, we used to prove, uh, to do proof by contradiction. But on a more serious but I think what came up is that the world is changing very fast. Mm -hmm. uh, so, digitalization, mm -hmm. I think to me, was on top of the pile. The second thing is innovation. So for the profession to be relevant to the contemporary issues, particularly the social economic dynamics in Zimbabwe, mm -hmm. and that centers around product design, product relevance, and responding to the call by the unassuming public who look to us for solutions in the long term insurance. There's a big cry to say, how do we protect the poor people who are contributing their money? in order to get value in the future, given the factors of the economy. I think it's a big take out. Ah, great. Great stuff there. Uh, one final question. Uh, so we have got a, a large cohort uh, of uh, younger actuaries, uh, people who have just joined the profession, some are still at varsity, who are coming through and uh, probably are looking for inspiration. What would you say to them about this profession? I think by choosing to be actuaries, they become global citizens by their own choice. Sure. It means that they, are, they must think beyond a boundary of a country like Zimbabwe, which is what the bigger problem is. They, they, they want that I have talked to, they are worried about where they are going to work, given the low level of employment, whether they will be able to succeed like some of us did in the past. My message to them is that uh, first things first, do what you are doing and do it well. Sure. Last month I addressed the uh, students at NAST mm -hmm. and I advised them about one key thing that I want to say again today, mm -hmm. which is called creating social capital. Mm -hmm. Creating social capital is around just not being technical, mm -hmm. but knowing how to relate to the rest of society and even volunteering, which you talked about. I was really uh, very happy that you said so, because mm -hmm. that is what creates the network that you can break. Yeah. So for the young upcoming actuaries, in the in in the way Zimbabwe has participated in the profession, it is a disproportionately large share of actuaries. Mm. If you measure by population, it simply means that Zimbabwe is going to take the globe by storm. So. Just last week, I was at the International Congress mm -hmm. of Actuaries in Sydney, Australia, mm -hmm. and I met Zimbabwe actuaries there. Today, yes. Yes. So. I will say to the young people, the world is their oyster. Mm -hmm. They must just keep on keeping on, mm -hmm. do what you get the time, and, fo and keep focused. Yeah. Thank you. All right, thank you so much. Thank you for making this time. I hope you enjoy the rest of the convention. I'm, look I'm looking forward to that. Thank you very much for inviting me. Sure.